It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. But when we are apart, I feel it too. And no matter what I do, I feel the pain with or without you. You tell me you're in love with me. Like you can't take your pretty eyes away. And Never Been Kissed, one of my favorite movies. So, as you might have guessed, today's video is going to be dealing with what I miss about the 90s. And I'm so excited to be doing this video. Again, I'm sorry that I kind of missed my week's mark with uploading every Wednesday. But here I am on the weekend, here on a Saturday night with you guys. So, let's get started. One of my favorite all-time heartthrobs, of course, was Freddie Prince Jr. He, of course, came out of the movie She's All That. And uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, I think all of us girls totally crushed on him. And yeah, that's just one movie that I absolutely love. I don't know what happened to him. I, I haven't seen him in any movies, not that I know of. Maybe I haven't Googled it or searched it lately, but I miss that guy. I really do. But he'll always have a place in my heart, of course. <laughs> Another movie, or actually series, that I miss so much, and that would be Boy Meets World and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. We could always relate to Boy Meets World, right? Of course, Cory and Topanga's love is what always had us going, and growing up with them throughout the years, it is just phenomenal. That show, I just completely love it. I remember getting home and I couldn't wait to watch the show. I think it would come on around 4 or 5 on ABC, and I think that's before I even had cable then, so of course I had just the basic channels, but. I just couldn't wait to get home from school and tune it on there and see Boy Meets World on there. Of course we can't forget the life lessons of the show, the breakups and the makeups and prom, just so many different obstacles in life that we could totally relate to and funny thing is that when I used to watch it, of course at that time I was around 9, 12 so I couldn't really relate to the whole love scenes or prom or getting married but you know, now watching it back, it's just like, it's amazing, the lessons that we learned through them. That is one of the shows that I also love. In fact, I have their complete series. This is just one of them, of course. I had to own this. I just, I couldn't let it pass me by. And of course, I'm going to show my kids this show. They are going to sit through it, and they're going to love it. Another series that I love is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, how could you not want her powers? It was amazing. She even bought things through the magic spell book. I remember she had roller blahs. They were like these off-brand roller blades and I always wanted some. I thought it was so cool. She could go like lightning speed fast. Um, another thing that she ordered I think was a car one time and I mean hello how many of us would have done that as teenagers <laughs> I know I still would if I could but yeah the one thing that we did learn of course you can never ever ever have someone fall for you that is the one thing that couldn't happen for her and I remember it was so devastating and funny at the same time there was a lot of humor in that show and of course I have it here with me and I also have the complete series um, I love this show even to this day. I know it might be kind of weird to hear from a 26 year old, but I just, I love these two shows. I had to collect them. I just had to have them. And of course, I bought them off Amazon.com if y'all are interested in purchasing them as well. They have plenty of copies. I know they have um, the complete series or you can buy just certain of your favorite series, of course. So you might want to do that. One of the other movies that I absolutely miss is Clueless. Clueless had every girl in there that you could imagine. They had your smart girl, they had Claire who had the total package. She was a bit ditzy at times, but she was also a very smart girl, very in tune. She had a really good head on her shoulders, so she was a great role model for all of us. So 
She was one of my favorite fashion icons, of course, and I know that I can still watch that show over and over and over again. And yeah, she basically had it all. I mean, she had beauty, she had brains, she was just overall phenomenal. Of course, that had the life lessons as well, where of course she learns how to drive, and of course the discussion where she's still a virgin in high school, which of course is very admirable. She was just overall a good girl who cared about her friends and wanted for everyone to unite and for the world to be a better place. Another thing that I really, really miss is Blockbuster. I know that our last one recently shut down and it was pretty sad. We also had one here in my hometown called Top Video and um, it was actually kind of a bit more affordable than Blockbuster. I know they had lower prices um, and of course, who can forget getting all of those candies to go along with your movies. It would be a family trip, at least for me it was. And I just loved it. I loved every weekend that we looked forward to it. And I remember renting the Spice Girls movie, which is another great one I forgot to add. Um, I used to rent it for like 99 cents for the entire week. So um, yeah, that's like one of the things that I completely miss. And talking about that, I miss VHS tapes and V, what are they called? Oh yeah, VCRs. Oops. And VCRs. I really miss our old technology. I actually love our new technology. I mean, considering that we have the fire, and that's great. But I do miss our old school technology. I mean, you have to admire stuff like that, you know, to, you know, admire the new stuff. I mean, that's where it all started. And the sad part about it is that with our USB sticks, even though we've got thousands of movies that we can stream online, we do not have the actual VHS tapes that we can collect or not even our DVDs. I mean, how sad is that? I miss collecting those things and yeah, it would take up a lot of room. But at the same time, I mean, you got to keep those things. You had the characters' pictures on there, you had all of the detail about the movie, all of the producers and the actors on there. I mean, you just cannot compare it at all. One thing I don't miss, of course, are Walkmans. Oh my goodness, those things were heavy. I remember in middle school, you know, having to huddle that thing around, clip it on my belt, and yeah, that thing would kind of pull on my pants too, which I didn't like at all. But um, yeah, I don't miss those things at all. I do miss having CDs though. I have saved a couple of them. Um, I, sadly to say, do not have my NSYNC ones or Britney Spears CD covers, which I totally regret because I remember they used to give you those posters inside and pictures, and I know that I used to love those things so, so much, and I have no idea where they went or what I did with them. What I do have, though, believe it or not, is a handy mini CD case, which I still carry in my car. I went to go get this right now, actually, because I forgot I had it. I have all of my CDs in here, Millennium Faction Boys, I have my Britney Spears CD, and where's my NSYNC? Oh my goodness, I couldn't find my NSYNC CDs. I actually found my NSYNC CDs and my Christina Aguilera one, so pretty excited. I went ahead and kept all of those with me and I was so happy because I still listen to them in the car and like I said, I carry my CD case with me all the time and um, even though it looks kind of dorky, I mean, or not, I actually have my Beanie Babies. I used to collect these all the time. I know it was a big thing in the 90s, um, but I, I love these things. I still love these things. I don't have too many as I wish. I wish I would have collected much more. They used to be pretty expensive though, but um, yeah, I have them in this clear packaging as you can see right here. I have this one here. This is Snip. This is Inch the Worm. This is Prance. So cute! Freckles! So cute! This is obviously not a, a beanie baby, but um, actually this one has much sentimental value. This was given to me from my dad when he used to go on his little office trips, but yeah, this little guy is very, 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 very special to me, so I kept this little cookie monster. So we'll just call him a beanie baby at that. And we have Nuts the Squirrel, Britanna the Bear. Oh, this one was given to me by one of my cousins many, many, many moons ago. This fleece. It's a little sheep. It's so cute. Spunky the dog. So yeah, 
yeah, I used to collect those all the time with my cousins, and I miss that. I miss collecting things. I don't collect things anymore. It's so sad. Let's see. I know that I have some recent family photos on here. Oh, that's funny. My brother just texted me <laughs> during the video. Let's see. What did he send me? Hmm. Okay, some information I needed. It's top secret. But anywho, actually. But one thing that I do miss... Speaking of photos on the phone, since I got really distracted, I'm so sorry. Another thing that I really, really miss are Kodak pictures. I actually don't take any more pictures with the camera. I take them all on my phone. And it's really sad because I can honestly say I do not develop these pictures. And I just save them on my computer and on my laptop. And I do have a hard drive too, but I mean... And it's kind of, I mean, it stinks because I really don't print them out. I mean, I'm relying on this little, you know, square technology thing that is going to keep those photos for me for life. And what if it messes up and you just cannot recover those memories? You know, that is terrible. I miss actually printing out photos and putting them in scrapbooks and in albums and just looking at them and reminiscing. And that is one thing that we don't do anymore. I mean, Kodak pictures were so popular in the 90s and... Now it's just like we rely on our phones and we just forget to print them out and you know, they're just gone. I mean, just they're gone. It's scary. I have um, this one here when I was eating baby. I got that one there with my dad. I looked like a boy, it was terrible. Um, another one there. So, yeah, I mean, ooh, that was a ballet. So, I miss this, like, you know. They're in the phone, right? And that's great, but they're not printed out in an album where I can just get to them all the time whether I have this phone anymore or not. But anywho, handwritten letters. Oh my goodness. I remember in middle school that we would always write each other letters and it was so fun because it was that adrenaline rush, you know, of the teacher catching you and what you were talking about and of course you were talking with your girlfriends and talking about the guy sitting in the corner of the room that was your biggest crush of all and you know you just had that risk of them getting taken away and I really miss that and, and those are things that we could look back on now I mean like I said I'm 26 years old can you imagine looking at a conversation on a piece of paper that you and your best friend were writing about back in like 1998. I wish I still had those things because that's just pretty cool. I mean, it's like going back in time and replaying it in your head and that's just one of the things that I really gonna miss. And it was so personal too because it's handwritten. Now it's just all about texting and you know, it, it's not personal at all. So I think we need to start doing that more often and that's including myself because I don't really do that either. Another thing that I miss is of course MTV. MTV, oh, we still have that channel of course, but now they're showing like Brawless and Teen Mom and like all these weird shows, all these reality shows that we really don't care about or at least I don't care about. I don't care about Jersey Shore or, I mean the only reality show that I did really like was Laguna Beach and The Hills. Um, but other than that, I take no interest in anything else that they show on there. Um, maybe Silent Library, that one's pretty cool. But anyway, getting back on topic, and I miss when they used to show videos like all day long. You would see music videos and a countdown of what was popular now and what wasn't so popular. But, you know, I really miss seeing, you know, Insane, Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees, Christina Aguilera. I mean, what happened to that? I just really, 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 really miss that MTV. And now it's just kind of, you know, it's gone to the dogs. It really has. At least in my opinion, I don't know. But what happened to seeing those music videos all day long? I mean, you could tune in any time of the day. Now it's just gone. And I don't know if it's our fault. Maybe it's our fault as viewers. Maybe we stopped watching and maybe the ratings went down and that's why they, you know, came up with those weird shows because we're just weird and we want to, you know, know who's 16 and pregnant and who's not wearing a bra. I, I don't know. <laughs> Another thing that we really don't do anymore, rollerblading. I miss rollerblading so much. In fact, my brother recently bought me some rollerblades this past Christmas, and they're really, really pretty. They're really awesome. They're like exactly what I wanted, but I just, I like to have a partner to rollerblade with, and I don't really have a partner, and I know that's not an excuse, but you know, it's fun to have someone to do things like that with, but I don't, so 
Um, I haven't really, you know, taken those babies out for a spin. Plus, I've kind of lost my balance too. The sad part about it is that I actually went to several stores. I went to Academy, I went to Walmart, I went to Target, and everybody kept telling me that they didn't have any rollerblades available, which I found really, really sad because that just shows that it just died out and people are not really doing that anymore. I got really depressed and I thought it was pretty sad. And one last thing that I really do miss is AOL. I miss that whole, you got mail, little, you know, grade that you used to get. Um, I, you know, it's funny, I had an account when I was like 9 to 12 years old, which is kind of silly because I didn't have anybody to email me. Um, I did chat a lot though, the AOL chatting was so much fun. Um, I remember also, you know, having a lot of conversations with my friends on there. It was so much fun and I really, really do miss that. And I know that AOL still exists and there are actually some people that have AOL accounts, but, um, yeah, I just, I really, really do miss AOL, and that's a shout out for you guys too, AOL, woohoo, you still have your fans over here. Honestly, I do miss that little, you got mail thing, I mean, that, that honestly made my day, it really did. The only thing I did not like about AOL was that darn dial-up, I did not like the dial-up, it was so annoying, and I remember I'd be, you know, on the phone with my friends, having an awesome conversation, and all of a sudden you'd hear that little, like, you know, scratchy noise and it was kind of creepy and you know kind of freaking out until you realize that it was that your parents were logging on to check their email so of course you would hear them screaming like hey get out the phone you know and, uh yeah that was the only thing i do not miss about it but yeah aol was pretty cool and i wish they would kind of bring that back to like all of our email servers to make it kind of fun and interesting again last but not least is boom boxes these things are so awesome um, I recently bought this cute one at Big Lots, actually, and um, I bought this so I could go fishing and take music with me on the go um, to the beach just to lay out, have fun. Um, it wasn't too bad. It was actually like $15, but it, I really loved it because it reminded me of the 90s once again, and I just had to have it, and I'm so glad I purchased it. So that's it, guys. Um, that's all I have for you about the things that I miss about the 90s, and I am looking forward to hear what you guys miss too. So uh, just let me know down below in the comment section, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. I cannot, you know, enforce that enough. Um, also, like the video, give it a thumbs up if you'd like to, and thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.